Good evening, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your evening recap for Monday night, December the 9th, 2013. Okay, 15-minute chart of the ES, and we posted a couple charts today. I mean, look, today, boring day. It's a boring day. Uh, no two ways about it. So what happened today? Well, had a little dip off the open. Let me get my bearings here. Little dip off the open, down to that 1807 area, and we went as low as 1806 quarter. We went up, did highs here 1811. Then we did 1806 quarter, which corresponded with the low from about 8 a.m. this morning. So you know the the, the dip buyers had a little bit of, bit of a double bottom to lean on, and they ran it right back up to 1811 half. Now there are takeaways from both camps in this regard. The Bears had every chance to knock this market down today, in my opinion. You had matching highs here. You had a lower high here. You had a push down back below 1807, back into the 1806 area. Couldn't hold. Okay? So, and I wrote earlier in the, in the, in the second snap chart that I, did, that I did, you know, win the channel, win the day. From 11.5 to 07. Who wanted to win the channel? Nobody. Who wanted to win the day? Nobody. Everybody was just content to trade in this range, and um, you know we closed effectively in the middle of it. So here we are in the daily, and we saw you know green the green line's middle band failed it, got it back, and a little bit of a push higher today. I keep looking back at these two days right here, November 7th and November the 8th, where and this is also non-farm payroll. Middle band, lost it, got it back, and then we just kind of chopped, kind of chopped, and then tested middle band more as a function of time versus a function of price. This middle band is going to continue to head higher as we as we head off into the week, and I'm, I'm beginning to wonder if we're going to go ahead and retest the middle band again, and at that point, the market's going to have to decide. Do we want to go make another high um, and start moving toward the 1820 area or are we going to get back underneath and decide that, that below the middle band is where we want to trade my lean is obviously to the upside there's no reason that your lean should be anything to the upside when you're looking at that which is an uptrend okay the bulls get the benefit of the doubt and it's hard you know a lot of people myself included you know you got to kind of retrain your brain to, to just you know just we are in an uptrend these dips get bought and so you need to buy them too and you know the the first two dips today got bought we had a little bit of a move lower but nobody really wanted to do much with the day so we'll see what tomorrow brings um, I will be looking at I'll be looking at 1806 um, I'll be looking at 1806 as a support area still 1801 is very significant the bulls if they hang around in here and can't get through 11 half um, then i think that test of the middle band in the next two days is pretty much locked in uh, the the bulls need to grab uh grab the market and take it back up over 11 half and over 12 half uh, if we linger in here it opens the door for that middle band retest so uh, just some things to look at. Okay, everybody have a fantastic night. Follow us on Twitter. Check out the website. Check out the chat room. Come take a trial. We'd love to have you. I'll be back in the morning with, uh, with the uh, pre-market webcast. Trade them well. Have a great night.